Okay, so I'm just getting set up tonight, and I'm going to share with you what I did to, to get started. I've decided to do this little swan um, picture. I've actually um, taken it from a photograph. Michelle's brand new, by the way. Okay. And Pat says she is looking forward to this. So okay. We've got two awesome. eager people, and we have ten people on. Let's do this. That's right. All right, so I took a photograph, and I'll actually show you what I did. I took this. I fell in love with this when I saw it. It looks easy to paint. Um, so what I did was I took some, I've never painted this before, so we're going to do this together. I took some carbon paper and I want, I wanted the outline of the swans on my canvas. I have an eight by 10 canvas and I felt like I was not in the artsy mood to draw their faces as pretty as they were. So I copied them basically. I took my carbon paper, I put it like this. I put this swan picture on top of it and I just outlined um, the major areas of the faces. So that is how I'm starting this painting. This is a little blurry, Mom. Maybe. Does it? Yeah. Maybe the internet's dragging or something? Maybe so. Is it blurry, y'all? Oh, the swans are beautiful. That well, picture? Where would yeah. they get that picture? Where, where, where would they get that from? Um, well, I kind of stole it off of Pinterest. Okay, <laughs> so I can post that. Don't Steal <laughs> your I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Pictures but. off of... Pinterest. Right, I think I misspelled Pinterest. I don't know if that's legal. I think I'm, I, I definitely misspelled Pinterest. I don't know. I, I didn't ask if it was legal or not. So, but I just did it. Just shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, so what colors am I going to be using? I'm going to stay in the very, very muted colors because that is a lot of my style. So I'm going to start with some grays. So how how are, how are how do they? What? How do they get the swans on their canvas? Um, however they want. I just showed them how I did it. What do you mean? How oh. do they get the no, just... swans on their canvas? <laughs> We're not doing very well tonight. <laughs> So should we wait until everyone <laughs> finds a picture off of Pinterest, puts it on their canvas, traces it, and then starts painting it? Or should we, um, I mean... I could, I could take a picture of this once I'm done, and I could put it on... Hmm. Yeah, that'll hmm. work. We can do it that way. Right. Okay, so I am, I'm going to take my large round brush tonight, a number 14. And I'm going to take... What's wrong? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how everyone's going to paint that. I'm going to send them a picture. I'll send them a picture. I don't picture. know how everyone's going to paint that tonight. Most people just watch oh. and then paint it later because it's a live oh. and we post it okay. to where they can watch it whenever and they want. And you're going to send a link of maybe the swan or swans later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll send okay. the picture once it's all painted. Okay. Okay, so I gotta protect my peeps here. I don't. I don't. Let me introduce you to Michael. Sorry. Michael is <laughs> Michael is my husband slash my counselor slash my um, assistant. That's trying to tell me how to do my job tonight. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I just I got nervous because I'm like, how do I paint this this swan right now? I don't know how to do it. So, well, anyway. you could just kind of sketch it out. Yeah. The best, the best that you can. That's that's what I do ninety nine percent of the time, but okay. because I've never painted this before and because I'm live, I'm a little nervous about just sketching it out. Right. So I gave myself a little heads up. You know, like I helped myself out by yeah. making it a little easier on myself. So I'm making me some purple because I want a little bit of purple in the background, and so I took some red and some blue and basically your primary reds and blues and I'm mixing it together and I'm making a really pretty purple oh, that's nice. 
and I'm going to add some white in it. I'm a mixer, if you haven't learned that yet. And I love to mix colors together. And something that you will learn, if you use white, it tones things down to be like more on the pastel side. Mm -hmm. If you use gray, it makes things more um, what I call muted. It softens things up. So I'm actually going to use some gray in here as well. And I'm going to make a really soft purple. Ginger Poe said, are you using acrylic paint? Yes, I am using acrylic paints. And I'm using a variety of acrylic paints. Let me show you what I started with. Because I'm going to have some texture to this painting. One of the painting, one of the paints I'm using is a thick body acrylic. It's titanium white. Mm. So it's a really thick paint. Another one that I'm using is uh, Creative Inspirations. I got this off of um, Blick.com. It's another thick paint. It's my gray. And it's actually called Middle Gray. The third colors I'm using are cheap paint from Walmart. Um, Craft Smart and Apple Barrel. Real blue and real red. Actually, this is called Holiday Red. So those are the colors I went with. And I'm Baby, coming... there's definitely a delay in the picture. Uh, it goes blurry in and out. So I don't know if that's like people are, are, are being bothered by that or not. But Is that a problem, y'all? I mean, I don't know how to fix that if it is a problem. I guess maybe the internet's slow or something. Yeah, maybe so. Ginger Post said thank you. Somebody named Ginger? Ginger Post. Oh, her name is Ginger? Uh, I, I think so. I think her full name is Ginger Post. <laughs> well, my name is Ginger, too. Yeah. So, hey, Ginger. So, yeah, Ginger Post. Okay, so I'm doing the background. Oh, and beautiful I'm... dog she has on her site, by the way. <laughs> and I'm using, like, a really muted uh, purple back here. I'm just kind of outlining. Adding a little purple to my brush a lot of paint on your brush always a lot of paint because I like to paint with texture and if you are interested in painting with me my tribe is open tonight is the last night that you can join so do you remember the link that we did for the I tribe membership uh, uh, hey Joan Murphy is on hi from Missouri Hey, Joan from Missouri. Yeah. That's cool. I know, right? Here we are. Well, I don't, um, but I know it starts with a www. Okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. There's a start. So what is that sign? Um, www.jensdenart.com. Okay. And that'll take you to the main website, but then you can go even further and put um, backslash sales. Uh -huh. And that'll take you to the page that... Um, allows you to join the subscription. So and backslash sales.com? No. Oh. www.jensdenart.com backslash sales. Awesome. And so yeah. tonight you close it up? Yeah. Tonight at midnight we are closing the doors. Um, and we have... We are just going to focus on... I am just going to focus on the members that are in there for the next three months. So we're going to dive really deep into some canvases and some detailed paintings. Sadie gave us a thumbs up. Thank you, Sadie. So... Jane, can I give a shout out to someone? Absolutely. So, Miss Norma Cluat <laughs> from, I would assume, South Louisiana... Yes. Posted a picture of a beautiful southern bayou. Uh, I had asked for people to start posting their pictures that they do from the tutorials that you submit or that you post online. Mm -hmm. She did a fantastic job. Yeah. Beautiful pic. Um, she made a reference to the camp that you could only get to it by boat. And I thought, what a wonderful way to be able to get to your camp <laughs> in the bayou by boat. So, Miss, Miss Norma, I know you're not on right now but wow great job and uh thank you for posting your picture 
Yeah, she and that did was only available job. to the to the members. Yes. That 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 tutorial. So, so I want to give a shout out to Cole Benoit. He is watching with us. Hey, Cole! Thanks for watching. All right. So, just kind of doing the background right now, and. This is gonna be a little bit of an abstract painting. So I am going to, um, it's not It's not that difficult because it's very few colors. Mm. So at least it doesn't look difficult, but we'll see in a minute how this works out. So I'm using a purple, um, a lot of white. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie in some Let's go with this color. Ooh, we got another thumbs up from Rose Baines and Sandy. Hey, Rose. Hey, Sandy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, this is a linen, and this is folk art. I really like folk art because of the texture of the paint. It's kind of thick. It's like a medium level paint, and it's affordable, so... I'm gonna be using a palette knife for most of this painting. Let me find kind of like a smaller palette knife because here's a better Why one. Why are you using a smaller palette knife? Um, because I'm gonna be working in small areas. So I don't right. want something that's too long, you know, mm -hmm. um, like these. You know, like that's way too big to use in small areas. Okay. But this little cutie right here is going to work really well. So where would they get a palette? I mean, they go to Michael's? To oh, get yeah. You can get Robert? palette. Not, you can go on Amazon. Okay. I have a, um, um, a link in my on my website right. for um, palette knives. Man, the blurriness is really getting to me. Really? Yeah. Is it bad? Well, I don't know. I, the internet's slow. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Too bad we're not going to the moon. We were successful in doing that, but not, not internet in Montana. What do you mean? Oh, you're trying to be funny. Yeah, it was. That was a. I didn't yeah. get it. Sorry. I, I, well, I didn't. I, <laughs> hey, I have a fun fact about swans. You want to hear it? Yeah. So swans Good. mate for life. And they did research on swans who had lost their partner, mm -hmm. and it is theorized only because of data, empirical data, that swans who lose their mate sometimes die from a broken heart. Really? Yeah, how do you like that? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to, <laughs> I wasn't trying to bring us down. I'm just, isn't it awesome that they mate for life? Yeah, yeah. it is pretty awesome. It's awesome. There's a lot of animals that do that, huh? Uh, yeah, I think. Doves? Something like that. Definitely swans, part of the duck family. Don't cardinals do that too? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm using my palette knife, and I'm basically I'm mixing up some whites and some beige or like the linen color. And you can't really see it that much because it's white on white. So it looks really thick. Yeah. Is that what you're supposed to do? I mean, yeah, that's okay. what I'm doing tonight. I'm using thick paint. Okay. But I'm just kind of putting the first layer on right now. And then we'll come back and we'll fix it even more. I'm staying with the really muted colors. So Pat says the thick paint looks good. Oh, no, that the uh, blurriness looks okay to her. So good. Okay, good. Oh, I didn't know that that's what you do. You paint everything around the... Okay, that's cool. What you mean? Hey, N-L, I-N-E-L, Watts is finally here, she says. She's finally on. I mean, Yay. she watched this live. So that's awesome. Is it I-N-L? I-N-L. 
I know is a tribe member. Oh, I know. You're going to be getting some really special paintings in the coming weeks. Yep. Like some, there's one that I wanted her to paint tonight, I know, but she said, nope, she's waiting nope, for the Nope, that's tribe. for my tribe members. Oh, it's a, it's a doozy and it's awesome. Hello, Donna LaCour. Hey, Donna. Donna's a tribe member too. Ooh, Donna. We have 25 of us, y'all. I know, yes. I know. So, oh, we got another heart. Who gave us a heart? Jill Wildman. Hey, Jill. Or Wideman, excuse me. Jill Wideman Adams. We're painting. We're we're um we're painting two swans tonight. At least I'm trying. I've never done this before, so y'all are gonna y'all are gonna learn with me on this one. Rose is on. Did I tell you about Rose being on? Did Hi, Rose. No, okay. you didn't tell me about Rose being on. Man, people are giving us thumbs up and hearts. Yay! Tell us where you're from. It just blesses my heart. Tell us where you're from. Even Cole Benoit gave us a thumbs up. Yeah. Thank you, Cole, for the thumbs up. Okay, this isn't looking anything like swans yet. Just be patient, I promise. Because it sometimes looks worse before it gets better. Mommy, your cat wants to come inside. Okay. Let her in. I am. Hello, Miss Sugar. Sugar is our cat. Cole says, I am right. I'm from right upstairs. And that <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Cole, for being right upstairs. <laughs> Hey, Sandy is on. She is from North Dakota. Oh, oh hey, I bet you y'all are getting some snow up there like us, huh, yeah. Sandy? And Pat says she's from Central Kentucky. Oh, awesome. God, we got people from all over the place. So I know North Dakota's far from us, but she's closer to us than Louisiana is. Yeah, North yeah. Dakota's like right next door. Ginger's from Minnesota, Ginger Post. Snow County. She Snow says, County. I don't know if she's being real. Is that like the like, na the real name of the county? That's pretty awesome if it is. Yep. I love it. So those are, you know, just a shout out to all of you. Ooh, got some hearts and some thumbs and some ooh faces. Whatever that means, like the face, the emojis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to add a little bit of like shadow to the swans. And I'm using a mixture of grays and the the linen color which is kind of like a beige and the white mm. and um i'm just kind of there we go sandy said yes plenty plenty of snow, of snow. <laughs> look we got we probably got about 18 inches the last three yeah, days dude. so we understand yeah we just moved to montana like what for in september september 5th so from Louisiana, so this is our first experience with um, this kind of weather, and we actually love it. Jenny, just to let you know, we've got twenty people watching us right now. Oh, so awesome! Yep. Yeah. So I'm just adding some um, some like shading. I'm shading in some areas of the swan. I know you can't really tell it's swans yet, but just be patient, I promise. Don't see that's the kind of things you have to think about when you're painting your own paintings because um right now it doesn't look anything like swans. But just keep going, I promise it'll start it'll start making shape as you go don't give up i've seen so many times some of my friends like we've gone to those painting with a twist parties and um we'll be sitting in there and we'll be painting our little painting and i've seen so many friends just say okay i quit it's not looking right well you have to give it some time it takes time to develop into what you want it to develop into so just be patient 
All right, I am going to go with the beaks here. All right, sorry about that. It's okay. Is everything all right? Yes, I had to check and make sure the dog acted like he wanted to go outside. Oh, wait. My nail said on? hot and very humid today in Livingston Parish. What's going on with this? I don't know. Did I uh, do something? It just it fell over. So it's on that piece of wood right there, the light. Is that good? Is that a good thing? I don't know. No. No, it's not a good thing. Oh, I see it. Okay. okay. It magically appeared. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. I know I know exactly where Livingston is. Yeah. Absolutely. Joan is laughing with us, not at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Destiny gave us a heart. Hey, Destiny. Thank, Thank you for coming you. on, Destiny. Destiny, yes. Beautiful name. All right. Finding some kind of like an orangey red for the beak. Let's see. We're going to go. I'm going to mix. This is a. We got another Sandy on as well, Jen, and Philip Dana Mitchell. Oh, hey, Philip Dana Mitchell. It's Dana. Dana what I say? <laughs> well, her husband is Philip, and oh. she's Dana. <laughs> oh. I, it's only because I know that. I taught Dana when she was a student at Santa Mall. And listen, Rose said we're going to miss Mardi Gras this year. <gasps> but Rose, someone sent us two king cakes. <laughs> My sister already sent us two king cakes, and one of them's already gone. I've been having it for like two days. It's strawberry cream cheese. Yeah, so we still have the spirit here. Don't worry. <laughs> Michael said he was bringing the other one to his, his workers at um, work, but I don't know if it's going to make it there. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, no one at work is a member just yet, so we can keep the king cake here if we want. Nobody knows. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to um, a paintbrush. Because I'm working in really small areas here. So we are painting our beak to our swans. And I'm using a beautiful orange and red. I'm mixing them together. Can you see the mixing of the paint? I can. You can? I, I, I can okay. see it. I couldn't understand it, what you said. Yes, I can see it. Okay, so I'm using like a reddish. I'm mixing a red and an orange together. To make kind of like a reddish orange. What are you laughing at? Joan said I wasn't laughing at y'all. And I already forgot what was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed at that. I do that all the time, Joan. Welcome to our life. Yeah, welcome to our life. Okay, so there's one beak. And then this one's going to be another one so over here. Hearts. Jill Widman, Weidman, I'm so sorry, Jill. Some thumbs up, nice. Aren't the colors beautiful? It says the live video was interrupted. Oh, now it's back. So. Our internet here, we live in the mountains, so mm. our internet is kind of... Sketchy. Sketchy. Suspect. Okay. Starting to look a little more like swans, right? Maybe just a little. Maybe just a little. We'll come back with... All right, now I'm going to go with some black. And... <laughs> I hope y'all like painting as much as I do. I have so much fun just trying different things. Like this, I've never painted swans before, but I thought the picture was so beautiful, I just had to try it because mm -hmm. it just looks so peaceful. And today is one of those days where we just needed to add some peace to our life. Right, you know, Michael? Yeah, I agree. You no, know, Jim, when I look at these swans, I also think of the pictures that, that Cole takes. Mm. Uh, that would be a great take one of his pictures mm -hmm. and then paint that. Mm -hmm. uh, Cole is, is my son. Yeah. He just got back from um, overseas with the army. Defending our country. Thank and, you, Cole. Uh, and so he is starting a photography business. Peak South Photography. Yes. And you can find that on Instagram and, and whatnot. And it's a, uh, it's a great site looking at some beautiful wildlife pictures. 
I'd like to paint one of those elks that he has on his uh, Instagram. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. So right now I'm still just kind of putting down the base layer of everything and then we're going to make this a lot of fun in just a little bit. So be patient. It's going to get even more beautiful as we go. Ginger, yeah. Okay. What's wrong? No, I see it. I, I love it. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to, let me clean my brush off because I see a lot of areas that need help. <laughs> oh, Joan says, tell Cole thank you for his service to our country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joan. That's very yeah. nice of you. He was there for 11 months. So, in the background here, there's actually, I'm trying to make this look like part of the swan. Oh, when we have someone else on, I think her name is pronounced Kaylee, K-A-I-L-A, Clifton. K-A-I-L-A? Yes. K Kayla? Kayla. I knew that. I was just making sure you knew. So give a shout out to Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Thanks for joining us today. So I'm coming in with my palette knife, and I'm trying to make a little bit of a... Um, like this swan's back um, wing, basically. Mm. Is, you know how swans have those really high wings that, you know, that go up behind them? I'm trying to make that a little more pronounced here. That was our dog, if you were wondering. Charles Sounds like Edgar. somebody's screaming, but I promise you it's not. Okay. So you're making that white a little bit, I mean, more white than the swan white. Is that right? Um, I don't even know if I know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at it from, from the internet here. I'm, I'm actually just still... Melissa. Trying to make Bonial the... Um, Glasscock has joined, by the way. Hey, Missy. Yeah. Oh, hello. Missy is a, a former... Um, Moorville High School graduate with ah. me. <laughs> I graduated with her sister. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So this is kind of like the body of the swan coming out this way. And it's all going to start looking more like a swan in a minute. So I'm coming in with the palette knife. All that noise is our dogs. We That's have, the big one. Yeah, we have two dogs. One cat, about to get three dogs. Or one more dog. So don't Melissa worry. Melissa just gave you a, a wonderful comment. What did Missy say? Haven't seen you in years. Still beautiful. Aw, you're so sweet, Missy. I agree. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's enough. Y'all don't need to be out doing all that. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. There you go. I don't take compliments very well. All right. Is it starting to look like swans, baby? Oh, yeah, definitely. So this is one of my little tricks that I use a lot. I use the side of the palette knife, and I'm, I'm dipping. Can they see the side of my, my paintbrush here? Mm -hmm. I mean, my palette of knife. Your, the palette knife yeah. I'm dipping the side of the palette knife in the gray and the black mm -hmm. and it's just like it's allowing me the opportunity to make like these little yeah are so, we back on yep so yeah this i'm not sure what's going on yet with this uh swan i'm still working on him so i don't know if anyone heard my question my question was the swan on the bottom Something between his neck and his body. Is there, is that, what is yeah, that? Yeah, I don't know. Gonna we, we're going to have to work on him. Okay. I don't like him yet, but we're going to have to work and on guys, him. And guys, it just paused for a second. Sandy, thank you for saying that it's all coming together. Awesome. 
So when you use a little palette knife like this and you kind of outline the outskirts, it makes your eyes, like you can just see the picture coming together so much better. And I do that on most of my paintings. I'm answering Joan. She said, oh, lost you there for a minute. And I said, thanks, Joan. I think we figured it out. We have to charge our phone. Yeah. <laughs> So painting with a palette knife is a lot different than painting with a paintbrush. It's it's almost like icing a cake or buttering a piece of toast. So oh, that's a great explanation. Yeah, it really is. And um, most people can relate to that. It's very intimidating to paint with a palette knife, but um, it's it's actually a lot of fun at the same time. What do you call that rough look that you're doing? Is that some, is that a, like is that a Well, it's kind of like abstract. This is where this is going a little bit. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah, I like that. The rough, there is a name for it. It's um if if you do like really thick heavy body paints, mm -hmm. it's called um impasto painting. I-M-P-A-S-T-O. I-M-P-A-S-T-O. Impasto painting. And it's like you could feel the texture on the painting. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I love it. It's one of one of the things I love doing the most. How long does that take to dry when you're doing it that thick? Um, acrylic paints dry pretty fast. So, like, it'll be completely dry tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. So if you do it, put it away to where the cat can't jump on it. Let right. It sit. Okay. Yeah, the okay. cat can't jump on it. Right. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Yeah. Well, you know. Okay. Listen, I just want to real quick say Philip, Dana Mitchell, which is really Dana, not Philip, Melissa, uh, Inel, Sandy, Rose, Sadie, and the other Sandy and Rich, Michelle and Kaylee. Thank you so much for. Uh, giving us thumbs up. Destiny and Jill, Cole, thank you for the hearts. Joan, thank you for the uh, the laughter that we're uh, all enjoying. So, uh, I really appreciate all you guys being on. So I've had a lot of people sign up to the, um, the free Facebook group, which by the way, you can put this link in there too. Mm. And when you join the free Facebook group, which I'll give you the, the, um, the website is www.facebook.com backslash groups backslash Jen's Den Art Fun. One big word. Okay. After fun, nothing? Right. That should be it. That should be the link. Okay, so when you join you get asked a few questions about what's your biggest struggle in painting. And one of the things that I've noticed that most people are saying is starting and the confidence, like having the confidence to just do it. Mm. Did y'all notice, if you didn't, you need to go back and look. Did you notice how this didn't look anything like Two Swans a little while ago? And, but... You just have to keep on going because eventually it's going to all come together and it's going to it's going to start taking shape. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a few um like little highlights to some of the areas just to give it a little more of that abstract look, I guess. Right. Jen, I got a question for you. And I asked this other Man, night. you are full of questions tonight, I but I thank I'm you. I, I appreciate that. I'm sorry. Why <laughs> why should I why should I become a member? Because I'm getting this. I'm getting this in the free group. Mm -hmm. So what 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 benefits would I get from joining the paid group? Well, um, the paid group we do we learn much more detail and we paint four paintings. A month and you get me in a private Facebook group nice um, once a month right now we're spending time in the um, free Facebook group because we're open for 
you know, new members. Right. But once we close the doors, all of my focus is going to go to my new students that I have. Which, for... by the way, shout out to Gloria. Hey, Gloria. Thanks for being here, Gloria. So um, we will we will focus on um, more specific techniques and our paintings will be um, just a lot more detailed. So more fine art painting. Yeah. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is four paintings. We're going to be doing um, one painting that one painting that takes gosh, probably three to three to five hours to complete one painting. So it's like a, a series of videos. If you've done the barn painting, it's more like that. It's going to take you a while to get through the whole painting. We just painted these swans in what? 40 minutes? 44 minutes. Yeah. Or even less than that if I wasn't talking. So the paintings that you would do in the tribe is um, much more detailed. Right. We go into um, more like specific subjects. Like mm -hmm. we paint churches, we paint barns, we paint landscapes. And this is um, fine art painting that will take two or three sessions of painting. Yeah, it, it's I stuff that I want you to be able to, like, if you wanted to start a business or you want to hang in your house, it's stuff that I want you to be able to have, you know, for, or even like, to be to able to give as gifts and yes, things like that, yes, you know? Yes, that's what I wanted to say, yes. So, um, yes. not that these aren't, but I'm just, these that I'm doing here are just, like, really quick paintings. Does that make sense? I'm not Joanne sure. Joanne Archer's on, by the way. Hey, Joanne. Thanks for being here. Yeah, so when I look at it from, from the outside, I, I see it as an opportunity to get more in-depth and more skilled in my painting, mm -hmm. to have more enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Because the free group is only going to be available how often? Well, I'll be going in the free group on and off. Probably once or twice a month. Ah, okay. But the tribe is um, ongoing all the time. Like, I'll be in there just about daily in the tribe. Awesome. Jen, could you give so, a, a shout out to Caroline? Hey, Caroline. Caroline Collins. Caroline Collins. I know why Caroline is on tonight. Oh. I have your print and I'm ready to send it to you. So, I'll be getting in touch with you over the next couple of days. Maybe Caroline is on because she loves to. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're on, when you're when you're a paid member, you're getting four paintings a month. Mm -hmm. You're getting some live tutorials um, that will be a start to finish painting. Mm -hmm. The fine art painting will consist of two or three sessions, and you will develop a a a, a, a more in depth painting, something that you could possibly use to give as Christmas gift. Gift, excuse me birthday presents, uh, and also something hanging in your house. Is there anything else that they can get uh, when well, you're alive? I mean, a um, Yeah, so the fine art, I call it a fine art painting. It's actually um, just a, a large painting that um, is done on like a 16 by 20 or an 18 by 24. Oh, that's um, great. You get 24-7 access to all of the videos. They're housed on my website. Mm. You can stop and start them whenever you want, as long as you're a member. So you can paint in your pajamas. You can even use the videos if you are interested in um, painting with friends and... You know, you want to put me on the big screen and, and say, hey, come on over and let's have a paint party at my house. Hollywood. You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so you want to invite your friends over? That would be a lot of fun. Nice. I think I would like to do that, too, just to let you know. Anything else um, they get with Hint Hint with the live, I mean, with the uh, paid membership? Oh, he, we get you, Michael. Yes, of course. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, you get you get me and my antics. So that's awesome. Um, so we also, we're including a, a component that's going to be live in the tribe, kind of like what we're doing now. What I've been doing over the last few weeks is giving you like little, little snippets of what you would really be getting in the tribe. So we've been giving a lot of information out, you know, over the last few weeks because doors are about to close and we're going to start having fun in the tribe. Jen Joan sense? just made a, a wonderful comment. She said the purple just makes this pop. The, isn't it beautiful? It does. I love the purple. I know. Really? And Jen, can you see what they're seeing? Look, that, that purple is... Oh, wait. Oh. I got... Can they see better? I don't know. I feel like half of the painting is off of the... Um... Oh, no, it's just a comment section, baby. It's okay. just blocking part of the painting. So if you if you blow it up, they can see the whole painting? Um, I think. So I'm just making some little touch-ups here. And hopefully this will give you an idea of what the tribe is going to be like. So Sandy said, what part of Montana? So we're going to... Yeah. I got this one. I know this answer. All right. Um, so what are the other paintings? The other paintings are um, like 11 by 14 painting. I'll show you what we're doing this month. This is the um, level two painting that we're doing this month. She had a lot of great comments, by the way. Oh, that's good. Joan so says it's all on there. Don't worry. Rose says I can see all of the painting. Painting, it's all good. Sandy, of course, asked what part of Montana. Rose said her new love using palette knives to paint. Yeah, isn't it fun? So Sandy again says it's all coming together. Wow, these are, I just. And you know, I sell my art, and if the, if that's something that you're interested in doing, and you just need some help learning how to get there to um you know to make your art or like to learn new techniques to be able to sell your art then this would be a great place for you to come and do Jen, so shout out to matthew sarah hawthorne hey matthew sarah it's probably sarah i know i'm I not know, i'm know, not I being know, you know i know i'm just you never sorry, know sarah. but i think it's just sarah i don't but if it's Matthew, that's great too. Yeah, Matthew, we'll take we'll take you in the tribe too. All right. So, I think my swans are close to being done. What do you think? I think I'm excited. Don't they look good? I think they look good. What do you think? Did we talk about Sadie being on? By the way, giving us a like or no? I think so. Okay. I'm not sure. Just doing a few little touch-ups. You know, I can stay on a painting for hours and hours, even though I think I'm done. I can just, like, keep on painting. And that's something that I noticed that some of y'all said when you joined the free Facebook group. You're like, you don't know when to stop. I don't know when to stop either, but just you get to the point to where you're like, okay, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> like, look, I'm still going. It's like, oh, look right here. I think I can go a little further. And make him look a little more curved. Yeah, that looks better. So, I really like the way this came out. And look, if you're painting this, don't forget to sign your painting. So, how do you mm. sign your painting? Well, you can sign your name or you can sign your initials. I'm going to put my initials, which is actually Ginger LaCour. So, I'm going to do a G. Okay, and then I'm going to do an L for LaCour, like kind of attached to it. But then I'm going to come back, because the name of my business is Jen's Den, I'm going to add a D to the, you see how that kind of looks like a D? Like this is a big capital D, like that. So, super cool. Oh, I have to practice my name before I sign it. <laughs> right? <laughs> have to I don't know. but these swans are really gorgeous Love I really like the it. way they came out 
and um, I'm still playing with them a little bit because I'm thinking in my head these are like some like this is kind of the um Joan said thank you for sharing your talent <laughs> oh of course I was a teacher in the classroom for 23 years I have 25 years of teaching experience and it's just something that I just love to do so that's why I started the tribe Rose said, wonderful swan painting. Love it. Thank you so much, Rose. Uh, Everybody's so nice. So, yes, if you are interested in joining the tribe, tonight we are closing the doors. The doors will not open up again until May. So, if you have any questions or if you want to join and you're not already on the email list, then you can drop your email below and I will send you the link. Kitty Moore said, so glad I found you. Joanne said, love this one. Good. Wow. Thank you, Kitty. Oh. So the um, the tribe is $24 a month. And if you join now, you are grandfathered in. The monthly subscription will never go up as long as you are a member. Mm. So keep that in mind because the content, as we get more content, the price is going to go up next time I open the tribe subscription. So I'm really excited about doing this and I think that it'll be a great and fun experience. And these are the kind of things that we're going to be doing in the tribe, but we're going to be going even further and I'm going to give you more one-on-one um, -on -one, um, help. That's right. Jim, by the way, we had two Joannes give us a heart emoji. Joanne Archer and Joanne DeLong. So just a shout out to those two. Thank you, Joanne and Joanne. Yes. Y'all have been really sweet tonight, and I really appreciate it. And please um, come back and visit us next time we go live. And I have a lot of great things to share with y'all. And I'm so excited that it actually came out pretty neat. It's yep, a pretty, pretty. It is. It's gorgeous. I love that abstract, rough look. Yeah. And it's kind of abstract, so it came out really good. Okay, so I think we're done for the night. We will sign off. And like I said, tonight's the last night. You have until midnight to join. So if you have any questions, let us know. All right. Ready to sign off? Sign off. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.